chairman. What do you think? Because the hardcore, the Tea Party groups, the, 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 the fans who loved you when you were running, um, they're very ecstatic over this news. They think the party will get back to its core and its principles, and they're itching for a fight, and that fight might include a government shutdown. What do you think of that? Well, I think that some of them may be excited about it, Neil, but a change in the leadership of the House of Representatives with Boehner stepping down isn't going to solve all of the problems. Secondly, those that are cheering his departure, uh, there's an old saying, be careful what you wish for, because they still have to do some galvanizing, as one of your panelists had mentioned earlier. They've got to do some coming together if they then want to be more effective in dealing with the Democrats. So it's a, it's a number of problems that are going to have to be addressed. Let me just say, I want to personally commend Speaker Boehner for his 25 years of service running any institution, especially a political institution for that number of years, is not an easy job. Yeah. I have often described it as herding cats ain't easy. And so now that you, uh, we, we will have a new speaker, a new leader of the Republican Party in the House of Representatives, sometimes a change in leadership can be helpful. Or you're just and switching the names uh, outside the door, right? I mean, the rap against Kevin McCarthy his yeah. great credentials notwithstanding, his majority leader, uh, he is associated with, 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 with Speaker Boehner um, as Boehner's guy. Uh, so in that camp that it wants to, at all costs, avoid government shutdowns, as some would say that's very wise, very pragmatic, very good of them making a deal to avoid this sort of thing. There are others, conservatives in the Republican Party, who, who find that type of entity the wrong type of guy, the wrong type of philosophy. And, and, and would prefer almost anyone else. So what are we looking forward to now, do you think? Well, we're looking for several days and hopefully not several weeks of uncertainty. Uh, it used to be that, yes, that was a normal progression, but we can't necessarily expect that to happen this time. Uh, so I don't dare to try and predict who's going to get it, how much shakeup is going to be, but my main hope is that somehow a change in leadership will help to bring the Republicans together. Well, I don't That's know. the I don't first know. We, we problem they've right, got to solve. But, but this led me to think otherwise, that the reaction this got from the various candidates on the stump, this was with Ted Cruz earlier today. Look at this. You want to know how much each of you terrify Washington? Yesterday, John Boehner was Speaker of the House. Y'all come to town and somehow that changes. My only request is, can you come more often? Tony, we need to schedule these weekly, once a week. What did you think of that, Herman? What did you think? I think that's an oversimplification. It's not that simple. Uh, it's not that simple that with Boehner's departure that things are going to be much better. Neil, you know as well as I do that trying to manage the dynamics in a large organization like the United States House of Representatives is not easy. It, Boehner didn't have an easy job. I'm not trying to defend him, right. but I'm back to the reality is it's not going to be that easy. And all of the people that were applauding that he's gone, he wasn't the biggest problem that the Republicans had in the House. Gotcha. And McConnell is not the biggest problem that the Republicans have in the United States Senate. They have got to come together first if they expect a change in leadership to produce some different results. Well, don't hold your breath on that. Herman, very good seeing you.